Hey kids, barbecue ball beer. How y'all doing? It's like December 29th and uh, Christmas was a few days ago. Everybody's probably wondering, hey, what can I do with my leftovers? Well, if you got, if you had turkey, maybe you make turkey pot pie. If you had ham, maybe you can make ham pot pie. Maybe you can make ham and bean soup. Everybody likes ham and bean soup. We had brisket, so I'm gonna make beef stew with brisket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with Aunt Heather's uh, Dutch oven here. And uh, we're gonna warm that up. Take two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put that in there, let it melt down a little bit. Get this out of the way. <clears throat> so first what we're gonna do is we have one onion here. We're gonna we got that chopped up and then we have a couple uh, sticks of celery there. So I'm gonna melt this butter. You know, saute saute these onions a little bit. Put those uh, put those chunks of celery in there. And then uh, have some potatoes, cube. Soaked and rinsed. Have some carrots, cubed, soaked and rinsed. Maybe not cubed. I don't know what you call them whenever they're chopped up like that. We call them chopped up. So uh, once we get these onions and celery in there, brown them up. We'll throw the potatoes, carrots in there. We're gonna put some beef broth in there. Let them boil, simmer, uh, soften up a little bit, and. I don't know how much brisket I have here. I got it chopped up in little pieces. Okay, that's a rather large piece. Still tasty. Mm. Once those potatoes and carrots simmer for a while, we're gonna add a can of green beans, a can of corn, a can of peas. And we might put some cornstarch in there or something to uh, help thicken it up a little bit. So our butter's melted down there. Pan's warming up. Gonna take our onions, throw in there. Take our celery. Celery, hard to say it. Put that in there. So we're just gonna render these down. Cook them up. I'm on a medium high heat. I know, well, I guess you can see in the pan there a little bit. Gonna add a pinch of salt. I like using kosher salt. Right, let's put two pinches in there. And put some black pepper in there. I like black pepper. Stir these up a little bit. So how was everybody's Christmas? Mine was good. So we're gonna let these saute here for a little bit, round them up, and we'll be good to go. We'll be right back with you. All right, kids, we're back. Our onions are pretty translucent there. Uh, I know you can't really see in the bottom of the pan there, but kinda juiced up a little bit. So we're gonna put some broth in here. Just uh, scrape the bottom of that pan, get all them flavors in there. Oh yeah, 
very aromatic. That's a quarter beef broth. Probably should shake this up. I don't know. Here we had about three medium-sized potatoes. Dump those in there. These are four really big carrots. We're gonna dump those in there. Stir them in. We don't have enough liquid in there, so. I uh, better put another. This is two cups of water. Another two cups. Cover those potatoes and carrots by bottom. Yeah. Just an inch, inch and a half juice so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover this up and uh, gonna let it come to a boil then uh, we'll simmer it down let our potatoes and carrots soften up uh, I'll throw my brisket in there which it's already cooked and then uh, we'll put our canned vegetables in and uh, like I said, maybe a little bit of cornstarch, thicken it up a little bit. Oh, there's ourselves a nice little stew there. Okay, catch in a little bit. Okay, bye. All right, so uh, I checked our potatoes and carrots here a little bit ago, and uh, they're pretty tender. They use a little bit longer. So, but I want to get the flavor of my brisket in there. Uh, so, we're going to take our chopped up brisket, dump it in there. Like I said, I don't know how much is there. It's just what was left over. And uh, putting it down in there. Oh, yeah. It'll add that nice smoky flavor to that. It's going to be so good. I opened my cans of peas and corns and green beans. I left the juice in there because we're going to have to add some anyhow, so might as well have that high sodium content from the canned vegetables. And our pot's just about full. So, stir that stuff in there. Contents looking pretty decent. We're gonna let it sit at that for right now. We may end up adding a little bit later. We're gonna let this simmer for a little while. Get those flavors in there, and uh, come back and just thicken this up just a little wee tiny bit. So we're gonna let this go for a little bit. I'll come back. See you then. All right, guys, this has been simmering for a little while. Uh, just going to check it out here. Stir it up. I want a piece of that brisket in there, too. I want a carrot, potato, piece of brisket. A little bit of juice. Let's try this out. Now, I'm sure that this is hotter than hot can be. Do the potato first. Pretty tender. Carrot. A little hunk of brisket. Hmm. Pretty happy with the flavor. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, gonna get a tablespoon of cornstarch here in front of a bowl about a quarter 
cup of cold water here. We'll mix this up. This is supposed to mix up with cold water. I don't know. Feels like it's mixed in there pretty good. I don't know how much of this I need to add in there to thicken this up. But this is what we're going to go with first. All right. So it says slowly stir that in there. Keep stirring for like a minute. I guess I do have a little timer there on my video camera. Looks like we may need to go a little bit more, but we don't want to get there too soon and thicken it up into paste. Sure does look good. It's nice and colorful. It smells wonderful. I did end up having to put a little bit of uh, seasoned pepper in there. Oh yeah. We're going to let that go for a little bit longer. I'm having a feeling that I'm probably going to have to mix up another one of those batches and dump in there, but Mix our cornstarch, mix our cornstarch, mix our cornstarch. Seems to be mixed pretty nicely. Let's try this again. Like I said, we're not going to get too carried away with this. Definitely looks like it's thickening it up a little bit, but how thick is stew supposed to be? What's the difference between soup and stew? Like this is vegetable soup or is it beef stew? What's the difference? I don't know. I think beef stew is a little heartier, a little thicker than what vegetable soup is. Either way, this is going to be pretty good, I think. pretty happy with it. We'll have to see if Aunt Heather's pretty happy with it. Alright, kids. I know that it wasn't done on the grill, but it was left over from the smoker, so sometimes you have to do that. As always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, and famous words of Barbecue Bob. Okay. Love you, bye.